we are talking about this amazing app called Adobe Capture. So if it's the first time you ever see me and you ended up on my channel, welcome, my name is Justine Lamer. I am a graphic designer and here on YouTube I love to share my creation, showing you how I work and teaching you how to use certain apps. So if you like those kind of contents, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now because you don't want to miss any of those that's coming your way. And if you wanted to get more tips, you can always go at JustineLamer.com and follow my creative journey on Instagram. Let's get right into this video about Adobe Capture. I am going to show you my daily use of this app. So all right, let's get right with the first thing I do daily on Adobe Capture. Okay, so the first thing I do daily on Adobe Capture is colors. So here colors is in between shapes and looks. And as you can see, everywhere I go with my phone is capturing some really cool colors. So as you uh, see on my wallpaper over here on my computer is uh, seeing a lot of really cool colors and is building a color palette of five different colors for me. So let me show you a little bit more deeply how it works. Here you go, here I am on colors and as you can tell is showing you some colors. You can also use the front camera over here. So if you uh, click on it here, we see my camera and it's going to pick up some colors around us. Hi. So it works on both camera, right? So that's really cool. So let's go back to this side. And on the top here is uh, going to look for a gradient. So that is is pretty awesome so you can choose where and how so here's your first point yeah is your second and you can have a gradient like this can't you can't you tell it's changing you built a gradient you can add more tap to freeze of the image really really nice all right let's go back to our um, colors here and here you can also change some filter add some shadows contrast or whatever you would like so that's really nice i usually never use any of those i keep the original so when you are like this and uh, that you keep on going with your uh, phone and thing you can tap on the uh, screen and it's going to take a picture for you and you will be able to move each single one of those points over here to really choose the color of your choice so if you like something more over here you like this blue this is the blue that you want to choose and all of that so so usually what I like to do is just find some colors so let me take a picture I want some colors into my background so I'm gonna take the picture and here yeah, it's going to bring me into the RGB or uh, different other options so I can change the color if I I don't like them so if i if i click into rgb here you can change the option you can have a cmyk you can have a lab or hsb which is uh new saturation and brightness so you can also change uh, some uh, settings over here but if you go into a rgb and you say well i don't really like this blue anymore this is not really what i wanted so if you click on it you can change the red you can change the greens and you can change the blacks and make your own colors so how cool cool is that? Uh, you can also have access to harmonies. So I thought that was uh, super helpful because you can also change uh, the colors here as well. And if you go into image, you can go back. So uh, if you took the picture and you're like, oh no, I didn't want those colors, you go back to the image and you can once again change those little dots everywhere in your pictures. And that's awesome, isn't it cool? That's awesome. So once you're done and you are really happy with the color for your uh, color palette, then you can do save. And it's gonna save in any of your libraries. So in your creative, Adobe Creative Lab library, you will have access to it in uh, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, all of the Adobe um, programs and uh, you click save you can name it obviously name the colors can whatever whatever and tap save and it will be saved into your library and you can use it everywhere you'd like so number two of my daily use of Adobe capture is type so in between materials and shape you have an option called type and you can actually find any type you would like on any surface thanks to this is going to search for that type or give you a similar one from the adobe font library so let's 
uh, have an example, shall we? So here I have my phone on my camera. I'm going to take this candle over here and we're going to look for uh, this uh, font in particular. So let's see, let's see what the app is going to find out for us. All right, so you have to align as much as possible the text that you want to find the type for and then you will have to click to take the picture. So here it is what he found. He found multiple text as you can see and we're going to save it. Something that you need to know is that Adobe Capture does not do the landscape mode as of right now on my uh, app. Maybe in the future this is something that they will do, but as of right now you need to be in portrait. So he selected multiple texts. So now uh, the only thing you have to do is select the one that you want to type for. I feel like it's the same type anyway. So let's do rose water. And you can even move Zeus point away if uh, it's not centered correctly, if the app didn't do it for you. Usually they are very good. And then you click on the check mark. And here it's what's gonna happen. It's gonna say, oh, this font is called Bernhard, Bernhard, or whatever it's called. I mean, it's similar, so you didn't find the exact, but it's like very, very close. And so if you do not like the first one they offer, they give you a multiple uh, choices, like this one or that one, some that are similar to what he thinks, and they are all from the Adobe font uh, library. So I'm going to click on the Rubik, Rubik like, you can edit if you want to, like the style or whatever, and then you can save it and you can call this one candle because this is the one from the candle that you wanted so and you save it and same as the colors it's saved here in your adobe uh, uh, creative cloud library and that is just so cool so yeah this is basically what i use daily colors and types like all the time every time i find something i'm like oh i love it i want the colors of the flower i want the color of this wall i want the type uh, on that book or type on that website and this is how i find it Obviously, we are not done with Adobe Captures. There's so much more that you can do in this app. This is not stuff that I do daily, but almost. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again to not miss any of my future upload about Adobe products, especially Adobe Capture, because there's more to come and I cannot wait to share how I use shapes and how I make vector objects thanks to our Adobe Capture shaped through Fresco and then through Adobe Illustrator. So stay tuned for that. That's coming really soon. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. I will see you next Sunday. And yeah, take care.